So I grew up in New Jersey. I moved down to Florida for college. Um, and then in college is when I started hospitality and serving first. I first served at Hooters by the University of South Florida. Kind of moved on from there. There was a brief restaurant or like a local restaurant called CDB's and I served and bartended there. Yeah, just kind of kept going around bartending in different places and it's a lot of fun. I got into this field of work by going to college and having a bunch of places around and that was kind of just what you did in college. You know, you started at a restaurant nearby and used that to fund your way through there. So just needing money during college, of course. So it's really rewarding. It's really fun and it's fun to make, to have other people have fun. So, I mean, that's what I liked about it is creating a good experience for the people I'm serving for, you know, making them smile in any way possible. I mean, everybody likes food, people like to drink, so it's nice to have everybody else have a good time while they're doing those things. The perks of the job are meeting a lot of people, in my opinion. I like to make friends, I like to meet people, I like to network, and you're constantly surrounded by people. You're never alone. You're always talking to people because that's what the job is. So. You get to meet a lot of people, you get to find out their backgrounds, what they do, and you end up making a lot of connections that will help you in the future. The best way to get into hospitality jobs really is just to put yourself out there. Go into an establishment and ask if they're hiring and like hi apply to a lot of places too, so you want to get your name out there. And even if it's just a random establishment, you could try to get a job. You can also just ask your friends, you know, ask around, people in the community. Everybody goes out to eat, so there's always there's always a job available if you just put yourself out there. Don't be scared to, to apply. Because I do meet a lot of people, I do get to go around to different places. There's always opportunity for like promo work, promotional work, where you get to do things you don't always get to do, you know, to either advertise the product that, might, that your bar might have or sample drinks or, you know, kind of like go around and do shots somewhere. There's always opportunity to do what you do somewhere else, so it's really nice to be able to get around and do that anywhere. Especially bartending, there's always opportunities to make somebody feel good, feel better. People come in and want to talk about things a lot, and especially when people come in often enough, you get to build a rapport with them, and they want to just talk to you because they have that opportunity to, and you're behind the bar, and you're really close to them constantly, so it's nice to be able to make somebody feel better, make somebody's day just by good conversation. Best moments in bartending. There's, there's a lot, I think. I don't know, I can't pick out something in particular. There's, it's always really fun and happy, you know, like picking songs on the jukebox and getting to like dance with people or like me dancing and having everybody else laugh or something like that. I feel like that happens a lot. Um, just entertaining, you know, making people laugh. Those are all really the good moments. Um, the skills involved or the skills that I've learned, like so many, you learn to, one, be able to control yourself in a high-paced environment, to be able to think like what you need to get done. So you learn a lot of skills definitely for the future of how, you know, when things are just kind of going and you need to get, make everybody happy, you just, you think logically and you think in like how, what's going to be the most efficient way to get something done, especially when it's really busy. Skills like that, skills of how to manage your time efficiently. You know, you have five minutes to make this many drinks, you just you get it done in order. You don't like pass by this when you can go back and do that later, if that makes sense. There's, you know, there's ways to do this efficiently. The least thing I like about my job, um, I mean, people are different, everybody's different. So somebody could come in and have a bad day and really kind of put that on you and it kind of dampers the mood or yeah, it's just, Everybody has what they had to do during the day, so everybody's coming in from a different place or from a different state of mind, and so it stinks when you have to deal with people that aren't, you know, they, they think that they can just come in and reflect their bad vibes on you, and it's not as fun. But, I mean, my goal then is to change that. To get extra work in hospitality is really networking, talking to people. It's a very, like, it's everywhere. So as long as you put yourself out there and you are friendly and you just make friends, it's really about making those connections. After a long day of work, I mean, I like to go home and either, I mean, depending on how much movement I did, usually you're running around a lot, so it's really about 
relaxing and sitting down for once and kind of just breathing it out. I mean, I like, I like to do yoga, but that's not what everybody likes to do, I understand. But to me, it's like when you're in a certain posture for so long, you're standing for so long and like moving your body and doing yoga postures that are counteracting you standing straight up all day and running around. It's nice to just relax that way. Being in hospitality definitely helped me pay for college while I was in it. Um, I, I mean, while you're in college, you're only spending money. So for the most part, you have tuition and all that. So being in hospitality helped me pay for the things I want to do, but also pay tuition, not all the way, but as pay it off as I go and not have a less of a debt after I came out. So. And to, to be able to just do the things I want to do while in college because I'm not, I have a, no source of income, so it was nice to have something in there. And usually it's enough to pay off a little bit extra too. So. so time management, of course, is important. So if you're going to college and you have a hospitality job, of course it's going to take up time. Like going to school and having a job and still having a social life is the, the balance of life, really. You know, so it's just, you know, you plan out your day of going to school during the morning hours and, Hospitality is normally evening, mostly, so you do that at night. And then, I mean, hospitality is also not every day. It's usually the weekends, or you can move your days around a little bit so that it's, it's a flexible job. That's the best part about hospitality is that it's very flexible. You don't have to work mornings, 9 to 5, you know, Monday through Friday kind of thing. You, you can work the weekends, and not every day of the weekend always. So there's time to balance your social life in between all that and preparing your body, I guess, for not being hurt or anything in the long run. Right. Of course, like comfortable shoes are definitely a big, you have to have comfortable shoes in hospitality because you're on your feet the whole time. And like, like looking good is one thing, but being comfortable is way more important because like standing on your feet for that long, you barely get time to sit. So it's definitely important to have comfortable shoes or the little gel soles that go in mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, but I mean, you're also getting your exercise. You are walking around a lot. so. That's kind of like the upside of having to, unfortunately, wear comfortable shoes, I guess. Um, so being comfortable always, um, knowing that you're going to be moving around. There are opportunities to do hospitality anywhere. So if I wanted to go somewhere for a long period of time, if I wanted to travel to another state or country for a month or two, I'm sure I could definitely pick up a hospitality job during that time, you know, just kind of a fill in for a little bit to fund my trip or something. So it's nice to have that opportunity to have it everywhere. So they say looks are important when it comes to hospitality. And it's definitely, I do think it's important to present yourself well, to take care of yourself. You are running into a lot of people, but you don't have to like be the best looking person there. Like it really is about your interaction with people. So if you are a nice person and you are friendly and you make people laugh, which is super important, you're going to be successful. I mean, obviously clean yourself up, but really just be happy. Like people like that, you're, they want to talk to somebody that makes them happy. So, and they constantly are. So to earn higher tips from customers, definitely building a rapport. It's always about having regulars, you know, and I know, I know some hospitality jobs are harder to do that in. They're more touristy and you know, the people are only there for one time, but even then you can build regulars. You know, somebody might come back a year from now on the same kind of trip. It's, building regulars is always a good way to make better tips because your people like you and they want you to be happy and so they're going to give you more money because you know you made them happy so and I mean people appreciate that